Hey everyone, and welcome to question five, the last question associated with the testing characteristics lecture. Again, I recommend that you pause the video, attempt the question yourself, and then come back to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, you're evaluating a new test for disease X. You find a prevalence of 20%, a sensitivity of 80%, and a specificity of 70%. What are the NPV and PPV? So this is similar to question four, except rather than giving count data, we're given percentage data. And something that commonly trips people up is what they should put as a total. So I'm gonna give you a nice strategy for that. As always, we wanna start by drawing our two by two table and drawing it the same way each time. So we're gonna have disease status on the top, and test result on the side. So in cases like this where they give you proportions and they don't tell you the total sample size, I personally like to pick a nice round number and my default is 100. So let's just assume that there's 100 people in this study. Well, now we can start plugging in numbers based on what they give us in the vignette. So we know that there's a prevalence of 20% and we know prevalence is the number of patients with the disease over the total. So this column must be equal to 20. Therefore, those without disease must be equal to 80. And now we know the sensitivity is 80%. And sensitivity is the probability of getting a positive test result given you had the disease. So we know this upper left-hand cell must be 16 and this bottom left must be four. And then we know specificity is 70%. Specificity is probability of getting a negative test result given you do not have the disease. So we know this must be 80 times 0.7, which is 56. So up here must be 24. Then we can total our rows. So 40 patients had a positive test, 60 had a negative test. And now for our, you know, getting the, the actual question they're asking for, so NPV is the probability of not having the disease given a negative test result, which in this case would be 56 over 60. So not having the disease given a negative test result. And our PPV is the probability of having the disease given a positive test result, which in this case would be 16 over 40. Having the disease given a positive test result. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and good luck.